Hi boys and girls, my name is Jo Oliver and I wrote a children's book called Rodney the Rather Rare Rainbowsaurus. Here he is, do you see him? He has a love heart on the end of his tail, he has rainbow colours down his back and rainbow colours on his tummy. He's amazing. He's got wings and in his pocket he has a tiny bottle of milk for his friend Thea. And the story is about Rodney and Thea and their amazing friendship. So we'll get started on the book and then we can look at some of the pictures. Oh, sighed Thea as she watched the rain splash against her bedroom window. I do wish it would stop raining. Thea didn't like the rain. The sky always looked so dark and it made her very sad. Thea shouted, Mum, your breakfast is ready. Okay, she said as she jumped off her bed and leaped down the stairs. Two at a time, you know. I'm here, Mum. What's for breakfast? Oh, Thea, you know what's for breakfast. You ask for the same thing every morning. That's Thea's mum. And there Thea is. She's looking out her bedroom window and it's raining. Do you see her? I know, she said. Cereal, toast and butter and a lovely glass of orange. Mmm, yummy, she thought. No school today, said Mum, so we are going to visit Aunt Susie later this morning. Thea liked her Aunt Susie. She was funny, with laughing eyes and fiery red hair. She always smelled of strawberries, Thea's favourite smell. Thea always had a good time with her Auntie Susie. They would laugh and tell stories underneath the bed covers. Auntie Susie baked lovely cakes and Thea always felt, well... Snuggly wuggly with her Auntie Susie. Oh, goody diddy, said Thea. Eat up your breakfast and no daydreaming, said Mum. What me, said Thea? I don't daydream. Oh, said Mum, you always daydream. Thea finished her breakfast and ran back upstairs, two at a time, you know, and jumped onto her bed. She began to dream. Well, we know how she likes to dream. At first she thought of unicorns and fluffy clouds. That's what she always dreamed about. But not today, not this morning. Today was very different. All of a sudden, a very special rainbow saurus appeared. So there's Thea. And there's her Auntie Susie with all the lovely cakes. Oh my goodness, boys and girls, who is that? That's Rodney coming into Thea's room. Do you see him? Have you never up heard of a, a Rainbowsaurus? Well, Thea knew about the Rainbowsaurus and he had told her his name. It was Rodney. Thea liked that name. It suited him. This wasn't the first time Thea had thought about Rodney. He had come and visited her a few times. Normally when Mum and Dad were shouting, Thea would hide in her bedroom close her eyes very very tightly. The more she closed her eyes the more she could see Rodney. He was just amazing. He was red, yellow, pink and green, orange and purple and blue and he had the most fabulous long eyelashes and biggest eyes she had ever seen. He had a saddle on his back for Thea of course and even a pouch for her to put her milk in, just in case she became thirsty on their adventures. Rodney, of course, would give the biggest hugs ever, and she always felt safe and happy when she hugged him. He was Thea's best friend, and she loved him very much. No one else in the world had a friend who was a Rainbowsaurus, so Thea knew she was very, very lucky indeed. I would love a friend like Rodney. Mwah. Thea didn't have any brothers or sisters, so Rodney would come and play with her and they would go on the most amazing adventures going all the way around the world, would you believe? Rodney always made her feel a bit better because Thea didn't get any hugs from her dad anymore. 
He was always so very angry. He would look as if his head was going to spin and spin and just explode. Well, that's what she thought, so she didn't really want to bother him. She couldn't remember the last time he had hugged her or told her a story or told her that he had loved her. He was always so very angry. Well, she thought, I miss my dad, my kind and gentle dad, not the angry dad. Oh, no, not him. Do you see? That's her mum and dad. They're shouting all the time. And there's Thea, looking a bit worried. Thea's mum always looked so very tired. And you know, even the house was sad. When, when Thea was standing outside her house, she could see two eyes, a nose and a mouth, and always looked as if it was a bit sad. So Aunt Susie and Rodney made Thea feel happy. She couldn't take Rodney to Aunt Susie's as he was too special for that, and only she could see him. And of course, whenever she thought of him, he would always come. That's how good a friend he was. Just as Thea and her mum were about to leave the house, they heard a knock at the door. When mum answered, it was Miss Honeysuckle. Well, Miss Honeysuckle was nice in her own kind of way, but she always came to Thea's house and she couldn't quite understand why. Hello, Mrs Brown, said Miss Honeysuckle. I've just popped in for a visit. Is that OK? Of course, said Thea's mum. Please come in. Thea was standing at the bottom of the stairs. She could smell Miss Honeysuckle before she even saw her. Miss Honeysuckle smelled of bread and jam. Yes, she did. Thea always thought of people with smells, you know. It was just a gift she had. Hello, Thea, she said. How are you today? And there's a picture of Miss Honeysuckle and jam, a pot of jam. Here she is. Do you see her, boys and girls? She looks really nice. Fine, Miss Honeysuckle, Miss Honeysuckle said. Mum, can I go back upstairs, please, said Thea. OK, said Mum. I will shout you when it's time to go. Miss Honeysuckle kind of frowned. She wore glasses that sat at the end of a very pointed nose and had a pencil sticking out of her hair. Thea didn't mind her, but couldn't really understand why she kept coming to the house. Thea, she said, I may have to speak to you later. Is that OK? Yes, said Thea, as she bounded back up the stairs. Two at a time, you know. Thea was a bit worried about the visits from Miss Honeysuckle, so she began to daydream. Clouds, unicorns, flowers, butterflies, and then up pops Rodney. Oh, she said, I'm ever so glad to see you, Rodney. How are you today? Fine, he said in a rather squeaky voice. What's wrong with your voice, Rodney? Rodney normally had a kind of normal voice, but today he sounded a bit different. Well, it's a bit sore today, he said. I was singing in my rainbow cave last night. So I think I've got a bit of a sore throat. What about you, Thea? How are you today? Oh, she said, I would like to go on one of our adventures, Rodney. Would that be okay? Oh, yes, said Rodney. Where would you like to go? Hmm, she thought. Where would I like to go? Hey, Rodney, she had to have a think. Wow, boys and girls, can you see Cupcake Land? Wow, do you see? And there is Rodney and Thea flying over Cupcake Land. How amazing. I know, she said. Can we go and see the Cupcake Queen, please? We haven't seen her for a very long time. Oh, that sounds good, said Rodney. Jump on my back and we will fly to Cupcake Land. It's next to Africa, you know. Okay, she said. Hold on tight, said Rodney, and off they flew. It didn't take long to get to Cupcake Land. You could smell it before you saw it. Mmm, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry and cake. What could be nicer? When they landed, they saw one of the Cupcake soldiers who guarded the Queen's castle. Here's the Queen. Can you see? And there is the Cupcake soldier. 
Wow, he looks really good, doesn't he? He's got a cherry on top of his head. <laughs> Rodney and Thea walked towards the castle. Stop, said the cupcake soldier. Where do you think you're going? Oh, said Thea, we're here to see the Queen. She's my friend, you know. Just wait there. Who shall I say is calling? It's Thea and Rodney. She will see us. We are her best friends. OK, said the guard. Wait a minute. He was a rather grumpy looking cupcake soldier. When he came back, he looked rather worried. Oh, he said, I'm very sorry, but the Queen can't see anyone today. Why not, said Thea. Well, she's not well, I'm afraid. Instead of being soft and spongy, she's all gooey and green. And well, she's not well at all. Oh my, said Thea. Rodney, what are we going to do? Rodney thought for a minute. He was a very special Rainbow Saurus and had special magic powers. Would I be able to see the Queen, please, and try and make her feel better? Because if the Queen is unwell, so are all the many cupcakes in Cupcake Land. And he was right. All the many cupcakes were green and gooey and not well. Oh, Thea said, Rodney, you must make the Queen well again. OK, said the guard, you have 15 minutes. Hurry now, hurry. Rodney went into the Queen's room and there she was lying on the bed, green and gooey and not well. Oh my, look, can you see her? Oh, she's not well. Oh, she said, hello, Thea. Hello, Rodney. I'm not well. Don't worry, said Rodney. I am a special Rainbow Saurus. I have special powers. Close your eyes and I will make you better. Rodney's colours all began to light up. Look, red, yellow, pink, green, orange, purple and blue. <gasps> Thea couldn't believe what she was saying. All the colours were becoming very bright and lighting up. Wow, she thought. All of a sudden, the Queen became spongy and springy. She bounced up and she shouted, I'm well, I'm well. Thank you, Rodney. Thank you. How can I ever repay you? Don't worry, said Rodney. I'm a Rainbow Saurus. It's what I do. Thea gave him the biggest hug and said goodbye to the Queen of Cupcake Land. Here she is. Oh, she looks very well, doesn't she, boys and girls? Please come back soon, she said. You now have the golden key to Cupcake Land. That means you can visit me any time you know. Oh, wow, said Thea. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can you believe that, Rodney? Yes, I can. I am a Rainbow Saurus, you know. When she got home, she was rather tired by it all. She gave Rodney a big hug and closed her eyes. She was just about to fall asleep when she heard, Thea, Miss Honeysuckle wants to speak to you. Thea jumped down the stairs, two at a time, you know, and walked into the kitchen. Thea said, Miss Honeysuckle, I need to speak to you on your own. Is that all right? Yes, said Thea, still a bit puzzled as to why she wanted to talk to her. Thea, can I ask you, are you happy? Well, sometimes, said Thea. I don't like it when mum and dad are shouting. Dad especially. He gets so angry with my mum, so I just go to my room. Here's Thea's dad. He's angry. Well, said Miss Honeysuckle, you know you can talk to me any time you like. We don't want you to be unhappy. But you need to let me know if you need anything, Thea. And don't worry about your dad. We are all going to help him so he doesn't shout at mum and isn't angry anymore. Does that sound okay? <gasps> yes, said Thea. She was going to tell Miss Honeysuckle about Rodney, but thought it best not to. He was, after all, her friend and no one else's. Thea thought about her talk with Miss Honeysuckle. When dad shouts, she said... I just close my eyes and Rodney is there. He gives the best cuddles ever and takes me on adventures to places I have never been. I can't tell anyone about him. He is my friend and no one else's. But it was nice of Miss Honeysuckle to say that to her. 
it made her feel safer and happier. And just maybe Miss Honeysuckle was only trying to help her. But Thea wondered, would Rodney always be there? She would need to ask him that question. So Thea jumped downstairs, two at a time, you know, and lay on her bed. She closed her eyes and thought of her friend Rodney. Almost immediately, Rodney appeared. Rodney said, Thea, I have a question for you. Oh, Thea, he said, you know you can ask me anything you like. We are friends, Rodney. Are you always going to be my friend? Even if Dad is happy, even if the house smiles, even if Miss Honeysuckle makes everything better, will you always be my friend? Of course, said Rodney. We will make a rainbow pact. What's that, said Thea. Well, said Rodney, a rainbow pact is a very special pact. We hold hands, well, my foot in your hand. We count to ten and we whisper, rainbow friends forever. Oh, okay, said Thea, let's do that. So that day at number 24, Silvercrest Avenue, a very special friendship began. Rodney and Thea became rainbow friends. A very, very special friendship that would last forever and with, of course, the most amazing adventures to magical places. So, boys and girls, here's Rodney's foot and my hand, do you see? And that's him making his rainbow pack. Look at that special. Oh, that's amazing. We can all do that, boys and girls. Look, me and Rodney have a special rainbow pact. Why don't you come along and join Rodney and Thea on their next amazing adventure to Smarty Pants Land? Rainbow hugs and kisses to you all. That's Rodney's wee hand. Thank you, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed the story. See you next time. Bye-bye from Joe and Rodney. Bye-bye.